Sports. We have a Monday night of basketball for you with Hall of Famers Grant Hill and Doris Burke. This is Brian Anderson joining us from the sidelines, Ali LaForce. And the upcoming schedule for the Brooklyn Nets. On Wednesday, the Los Angeles Clippers come to town. And then on Friday, they'll take on Kristaps Porzingis and the Boston Celtics. Here's the starting group for the Milwaukee Bucks. The heavyweights for this team, Middleton and Giannis at forward. Holiday and Allen in the backcourt. And it's Lopez in at the pivot spot, batting the middle. And for the Nets, Julius Randle out there with Nicholas Claxton. Then it's Cam Thomas, then it's Smith, and it's Big Red in at the three. The NBA season just getting going. Fall is coming in full force. Grant, there's nothing quite like this time of year. It's the best time of the year, and I'm chomping at the bit. I mean, every fan is excited and, of course, optimistic. You know, fans all over are excited to see the new faces on their team. So nothing can beat some good old basketball in the fall. It'll be the Nets off the tip. Holiday against Smith. Pass to Baker. Randall outside. Shot clock at five. Off the mark there with a three. Here's Milwaukee. Ooh, Giannis dunks it home. And put it on a platter. Holiday serving it up for his teammate. Smith against Holiday. Here's Thomas. Randall is screen on Allen. Thomas passes to Randall. And stolen by Honor Kupo. And there's a whistle. He'll head to the line to shoot two. It goes on Dennis Smith. A physical guard who shoot plays with no fear. Holiday doesn't get to the line as often as you think. Well, Grant, how do the Bucks put the pieces back together and make a run at another title? Well, the hope is this new coaching staff will unlock some new wrinkles and find ways to keep their offense from stalling in the clutch. First one falls for him. You know, one thing you got to love about Drew Holiday is he's a true two-way player in this league. He puts in a lot of work to make a big impact on both sides of the floor. Holiday hits them both. And without a superstar score, Grant, the question has always been, how does this Nets team generate enough offense? Yeah, well, hero ball is not going to work. I mean, they've got to push the pace and trust one another and go from good shot to great shot. Boy, perfecting the floater would make Dennis Smith Jr. unguardable. How about that pretty jumper? Lopez, the screen on Smith. The shot by Holiday, no good. Here's Baker. Middleton covering. Smith outside. It's Thomas on the wing. No good on the triple. And here's Ana de Kumpo. He'll bring it up for the Bucks. Pass to Middleton. Allen outside. Milwaukee. No good that time either. And the defense got away with one there. I mean, that's a shot he typically makes. Randall finds Smith. Offline with a three. Boy, having a hard time making shots. Just one for four to start this game. Allen, the pass to Anadokounmpo. Smith against Allen. Pass to Middleton. And they double up Middleton. Kicks it out to Anadokounmpo. Buries it from three. Anadokounmpo has got five. Well, that leadership from Lopez, wanting to get his guys involved with his passing ability. And out of bounds, Milwaukee will have it. And it's time to give you a look at the top three-point shooting teams from a year ago. The Nets in fifth, 
Their three-point accuracy last year was exceptional, largely because of their patience. They would wait for the best look before pulling the trigger. Smith against Holiday. Pass to Middleton. The jump hook doesn't go, and he's 0 for 1 from the floor. And here's Randall. He'll bring it up for the Brooklyn Nets. Trailing by five. This, of course, their first opportunity to play Milwaukee this season. It really should be an interesting one to watch. You know, right out of the gate, one team gets a lead with the head-to-head -head advantage, bragging rights, if you will, over the other. And tonight, it starts. Boy, the bounce pass put right on the money. Nice assist. Pass to Middleton. Goes up on the baseline. Randall pulls down the board. The Nets have gone two for five here in the first. Smith outside. Randall inside. On to Kumpo covering. And he'll take a trip to the line for two. Clearly got fouled on that shot. With his size and skill set, Julius Randall can be a walking mismatch. You put a big man on him and he will blow right by him. Now if you go small, he'll drag him to the block. So when Randall is focused and involved, he is a Super monster two. to deal with. The first free throw is good. Guys, what you love about Julius Randall is the well-rounded nature of his game. Because he works so hard on his shooting ability, it makes his dribble drive that much more dangerous. Both good from the line that time. You know, Grant, looking at the Milwaukee Bucks, they play in a sports crazed state in Wisconsin. Oh, Wisconsin definitely loves their football, but Milwaukee also goes hard for their Bucks, which is a big reason for their recent success, B.A. Just taking it right to the rim, and no one was there to greet him. I think defensively, that is not the way you want to start. Giving up high percentage looks, that doesn't typically end well. Now here's Randall. And there's the whistle. The illegal screen is the call. The screener was leaning a bit right there. His feet may not have been planted. Pretty obvious call by the officials. You know, he's just leaning a little bit. You try to get away with it, but boy, the official all over it. Milwaukee has gone one for three from beyond the arc. Kumpo outside. Allen outside. From downtown, and the Bucs hit again from timeout, deep. Timeout. With balance and good rhythm, Holiday serves Start. as an effective catch-and-shoot player. Brooklyn calls timeout. It's high five, man. Here we go. Brooklyn zone. Team high
Brooklyn trailing. Here's Baker. He's scoreless. There's the triple. Holiday grabs the miss. And so Holiday will bring it up for the Milwaukee Bucks. Allen outside. Pass to Anadokounmpo. The three is up. The shot by Holiday, no good. Brooklyn has gone 0 for 4 from deep to start this one. Here's Smith. Goes up and lays it in nice and easy. Boy, you have to absorb the bump on the jump shot, and Dennis Smith Jr. still able to deliver. That is not easy, folks. Now here's Anadokounmpo. Five points in the game. Shoots. Count it. All three of his attempts have gone in. Pounding it inside early and often, setting a physical tone. Smith against Holiday. Pass to Thomas. Randall, a screen on Allen. Six to shoot. Thomas. On an Akumpo with the block. Yeah, such an imposing defensive force. Giannis with the great timing on the rejection. Here's Randall, covered by Lopez. Randall can't hit. Got the ball where he wanted it, but then got swarmed. Outside Holiday. Pass to Allen. Now here's Ana Kumpo. Check by Randall. And the fans love seeing incredible moments on defense like that block. <laughs> what a play. I mean, that'll have the offense thinking twice about taking shots in his presence. Anadokupo finds Holiday. Middleton outside. Just five to shoot. Lopez, the screen. Middleton, no good. That's a shot he'd like back. He's usually going to make those. They need something good to happen here. Yeah, they've gone way too long without a score. The Bucks have gotten 5 of 11 shots to go. Pass to Lopez. Allen outside. Middleton from the outside sinks the tray. Now, if you're the defense, you can't allow Middleton to heat up out there. I mean, he can be so efficient from long range. Holiday against Smith. Here's Baker. Let's go with a three. Sends it home from three-point land. Man, this is just fun. These teams are trading threes back and forth. Well, that three-point shot just gives you so much room to operate on the offensive end. The shot by Holiday, no good. The Nets have gone 4 of 10, shooting the rock in this first quarter. Back to Smith. Pass to Baker. Now Randall. Smith outside. Five on the clock. Here's Baker. Solid as a rock from 20 feet out. And now just a four-point Milwaukee lead. This team looks to him to score the ball. They feel good when he's taking the shots. Here's Middleton. Rebounded by the Nets. Claxton's got four rebounds in the game. Thomas passes to Smith. Here's Thomas. Allen defending. Pass to Randall from deep. Rebound by Middleton. Milwaukee has gone three of seven from beyond the arc in the first. Anadokounmpo has doubled. Holiday against Smith. Lopez for three. That one falls. Nice feed that time from Holiday. Three. And the Bucks lead by seven. You know, I think Lopez knows basically he can get a shot up over anyone. That stretch ability as a perimeter scorer is so important. Now a timeout called by Brooklyn.
Some changes for Brooklyn. Finney Smith checked in for Julius Randle. Walker comes in for Thomas. And Simmons is subbed in for Smith. Claxton passes to Simmons. Pass to Baker. Fires the three. Drills it from deep. Baker's got eight. The Bucks have got seven of 15 to find the net. Middleton outside. Here's Beasley. Rebounded by the Nets. A tough loss coming against Boston in their last game. Yeah, they found buckets very hard to come by. And you could tell it frustrated them to no end. I thought the striking thing was how little offense they generated. It doesn't matter how stout your defense is when you play that poorly on the offensive end. Five to shoot. Simmons, the pass to Finney Smith. Misses the baby hook. Milwaukee has gone four of eight from outside in this first quarter. Pass to the captain. Back to Beasley. Middleton outside. Lays it up and in on the nice reverse. Middleton's got his second basket on the night. And using that six foot seven frame to get in there and do work, Middleton will take on anybody. Simmons drives in. Great D that time from Middleton. You will have to finish harder than that if you want to convert in traffic. Pass to Lopez. Fires for three. That's good. And so Middleton with the assist. And now it's a nine-point Milwaukee lead. I mean, the versatility of Middleton. Not just a scorer, also a solid passer and distributor. Back to Walker. Screen by Claxton. From about 19, nice shot by Walker. Gotta fight harder to get over those screens. You know, we see this all the time. You're basically, as a defender, hoping the man misses rather than putting in the work to get over screens. Here's the captain. Still no points. Here's Middleton, and it's Milwaukee scoring again. So it's Brooklyn now. Nine-point game. They set a pick. Pass to Baker. He can't get it to go. Great D that time from Middleton. Here's Beasley. Tipped. We've got 113 left in the first. Walker passes to Claxton. Here's Baker. Give him eight points now. Cash money on the open jump shot. Baker's got ten points in the game. Well, they're not behind because of this guy. He is putting on a tremendous run. Lopez, the screen on Walker. Here's Beasley, and he'll draw the foul. He'll head to the line for two. And now looking at the 2K leaderboard, here's a view of which teams last year got after it with their shot blocking. Number one, the Nets. They built a reputation around the league last season. Do not test them at the rim. That's good from Beasley. Guys, from the week, Beasley, it comes down to one thing in my mind, taking good shots. When he does that, he's super effective. A different look for Milwaukee. Giannis Antetokounmpo has checked in for Lopez, and it's Crowder in for Chris Middleton. Beasley hits them both. Here's Walker. 41 seconds left to play in the first. And that's a foul called on Malik Beasley. That's his first foul of the game. Randle 
handle the screen off Beasley. Walker with it, guarded by Anadokounmpo. Six on the shot clock. The Nets need to get off a shot here. They're having a hard time knocking down their threes here in the early going. It doesn't go for him. Nice finish on the layup. Anadokounmpo has got nine points. And so it's Milwaukee closing out the quarter ahead by 11 points. And it's mostly due to their superb shooting. They've wasted very few possessions. We'll be right back with you shortly. And if you're just tuning in, we've got a wide margin on the scoreboard, but plenty of time left for a comeback. And a look now at how the offensive approach has been going here so far for Milwaukee. Well, in today's NBA, the three-point shot is so valuable. They realize this, and that's why they're continuing to drain as many as they can. And they've also shown dominance in the paint so far tonight, really putting the work in down low. Julius Randle out there with Royce O'Neal. Then it's Ben Simmons, then there's Walker, and it's Finney Smith in at the small forward position. So that's the Nets five. On to Kumpo, bam! So Grant, if you were a GM and you could choose one young player to build around, who would it be? Wow, that's a great question. I mean, B.A., I, I think you have to go with Victor Wimbanyama. I know he's a young fella, he just got drafted, but the upside is so huge for this young man. His talent, his skill, his size, he is the next iteration of Kevin Durant, in my opinion, and I would go with him. He's got a lot of runway in front of him, a lot of years to get better, get stronger, and to win championships. Here's the captain. This is the most they've led, 13 points. Walker pulls down the board, and so it's Walker with it. He brings it up for the Brooklyn Nets. Next up on the schedule, the Clippers. That'll be a home game. It's game three of a trifecta at home. And that one's good. Simmons. Guard skills, but a big-time forward or center-type body. Ben Simmons making it happen inside. Pass to Anadokounmpo. Here's the captain. Yet to see a basket. Now here's Crowder. Let's it go from deep. And the box hit again from deep. You simply can't give this guy open looks. Jay Crowder is one of the best three and deep players in the league. Randall outside. Beyond the arc. It's good. And a beautiful setup from Simmons that time. Randall's got five. Both teams are starting to find a rhythm here. And this is partly what the game has become, right? A matter of dueling three-point opportunities. Now here's Ana de Kumpo. 11 points in the game. The captain misses. Just enough of a shot contest to bother. All right, let's get a report from Ali. Drew Holiday sets the table for this Bucks team. Giannis said he's a playmaker. When he has the ball in his hands, everybody feels comfortable. It's a safe place. I don't have to go through the wall and go through the pounding. We can just play through him. Brian? Well, when they traded for him is when they finally got a title, Allie. Thank you. Milwaukee has gotten six of 11 threes to go in this game. Anadokounmpo can't connect. Maybe he rushes that just a little bit. Who knows? But he couldn't have gotten a better look than that. Walker passes to Randall. Off the mark. Had a chance there to trim it to single digits. 
On an Akumpo with it. Guarded now by Finney Smith. And here's Crowder from the arc. Knocks it down from distance. Crowder's got six in the quarter. To me, you've got to run this guy off his shots. Jay Crowder is a good catch and shoot jump shooter. Timeout called, Brooklyn. And as we head into this break, the players have an opportunity to replenish their energy with Gatorade as they prepare to go into the final stages of this ball game. Absolutely. Over the course of a game, not to mention over the course of a season, you have to stay hydrated. If you don't, it's amazing how much slower your body is to bounce back. It can have a serious effect on performance, no question. Some changes for Brooklyn. Thomas comes in for O'Neal, and it's Smith in for Ben Simmons. Allen, he's checked in for the Bucks. Holiday comes in for Beasley. And so it's Brooklyn with it. They trail by 14. Here's Thomas. No made basket yet. That's a foul he wanted to avoid. And he definitely doesn't want to pick up his third before the half. For Milwaukee, they've got three of six shots to go here in the second quarter. Anadokounmpo outside. And the lamp is good off the glass. Anadokounmpo's got 13 now. You can see it. Once this guy gets his rhythm, he is so hard to slow down. What an excellent night for him and his team. Now here's Walker. Driving in. And there's contact and a whistle. So he's got two shots coming up. And that'll be a foul on Milwaukee. Warning. Walker. At the line. Two times. That free throw misses. And he sinks the second. And the Bucks with the possession here. Anadokounmpo outside. On the wing, Holiday. And a miss there on the triple. No idea why he's attempting so many outside shots. It's not his day, and he needs to either look to drive or get it to an open teammate. Here's Thomas. Laid it in with a nice touch off the window. Well, defensively, to me, you've got to do a better job communicating once the screen comes. Portis the screen. On to Kumpo for three. Randall pulls down the board. Randall's got his seventh rebound here tonight. Smith against Holiday. Walker, a screen on Holiday. Smith, left side. Outside, Walker. Four on the clock. Shoots over Allen. Walker's shot is off. The Bucks have gotten four of their first nine shots to go here in the second. Here's Anadokounmpo. And the jam by Anadokounmpo. And you can see early on that Giannis wanted to be aggressive. I mean, he's taken over at the offensive end. Smith outside. Oh, sweet move. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. They pen that one on Giannis Anadokounmpo. Man, good whistle there. Right now the line, shooting two. Dennis Smith Jr. Shooting two. First one falls. And we know that when Dennis Smith Jr. is playing to his strengths, this guy is an effective player. The key for him moving forward is he's got to find a way to be consistent. Claxton, he's checked in for Brooklyn. 
The Bucks also with a sub. Lopez is checked in. Second free throw, no good. Getting themselves to the line this quarter is a good way to get their offense rolling. Outside Holiday. Pass to Allen. Portis outside. And here's Holiday. Lopez, the screen. And Drew Holiday hits from deep. Holiday's got 10. I mean, you watch Holiday play this game. He just explodes off the screens. Very good in pick and roll. Walker against Portis. Out to the right wing. For three, Randall connects from downtown. Randall's got six points in the quarter. They've got some ground to make up, and shooting the three ball more consistently, like they are now, should help them do it. Holiday against Smith. For three. The shot by Holiday, no good. And so Randall will bring it up for the Nets. It's a 14 point game. Pass to Walker. Here's Thomas. Randall with it. He's covered by Holiday. Uses the glass to finish the layup. He's got 10. Boy, I love the confidence Julius Randall has in himself. This guy knows what it takes to score. Holiday finds Portis. Now here's Anadokounmpo. Walker covering. Back to Anadokounmpo. Launches a three. Rebounded by the Nets. Now Smith. He's got five. Smith with a screen on Anadokounmpo. And it's Thomas off the drive. And there's the foul. It'll go on Grayson Allen. That's his first foul of the game. So it's both teams making substitutions here. Smith passes to Finney Smith. Here's Thomas. The three is up. Hits the trifecta. Thomas has got five now. Yeah, that's his spot. And the defender did everything he could to interfere with the shot. And here's Holiday. Ten points for him. Portis outside. Shot clock at six. Lopez, the screen for three. Allen, Smith with the rebound. Brooklyn with the ball. It's been eight unanswered for them. Here's Baker. Middleton covering. Pass to Claxton. Here's Baker from the arc. And again, Brooklyn with the triple. The defense is nowhere to be found guarding the three-point shot. Timeout called. Milwaukee, this game, coming on the heels of their win versus the Knicks. And you know they had a great plan going into that one. And then made the right adjustments along the way. I thought their game plan was really spot on. And we saw that in their scoring more than anything else. It's time to get excited and get loud. Pause in the action. Here we have the best rebounding teams from last year. Number one, the Bucks. Last year, this was a team that owned the paint. They were so committed to rebounding. And that's a stat you love to lead the league in. Here's Middleton. The D's right on him. Going inside. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. Terrific move. Smooth and so polished. Middleton drives defenders nuts with that. Chris Middleton. Two shots.
free throw good for Middleton. A proven champion. Middleton is someone any team would love to have. A great player and a great locker room presence as well. O'Neal, he's checked in for Claxton. And that's good as he hits both shots. It's not luck that he's so steady at the line. It's through repetition and hard work. Holiday against Smith. Pass to Thomas. The three. And the Nets, another three. Their ball movement on this run has been tremendous. It's led to a lot of good, clean, open looks. Now here's Middleton. Now Holiday spins. Back to Allen. And here's Middleton. Clock at six. To the paint. Here's Lopez. That's good. And so Middleton with the assist. Lopez has gotten his third basket of the night. Boy, love watching Brooke Lopez go to work. Superb at playing to his strengths down on the box. Here's Baker. 13 points in the game. Now here's Holiday. Allen outside. Lopez, the screen. Shot from the wing. And the Bucks getting another bucket right there. These are shots that Lopez drains consistently. This guy's always been a high percentage shooter from just about anywhere. O'Neal passes to Baker. Watch two minutes to play. Second quarter. Blocked by Lopez. Just superb timing. Lopez stretches out beautifully to send that back. Middleton outside. Down low. Portis down low. And we're going to have a jump ball. Jump ball violation. Jump ball. Pushing it up the floor. Here comes Brooklyn. And he makes it. Thomas has got 10 points now, just in this quarter. He's finally started to settle down here in the second quarter. Just needed to work up a sweat. Portis with it. He picked up 12 points in their last win against New York. Portis the screen. Here's Middleton. Count it. He's four for eight now. With how well he shoots it, you can forget Middleton is 6'7". That size and high release point helps him close in. Here's Thomas. 14 points for him last game against Boston. 46 seconds left in the first half of this one. Eighteen feet out. It's hauled in by Portis. Portis has got six rebounds now in the game. Three-pointer is up. Middleton, the shot no good. And just terrible defense. I don't know how he missed that shot. Pass to Baker. Let's the three fly. The rebound by the Bucks. 17 points was their biggest margin. They host the Pistons after this one. It'll be a quick stop over at home before they have to get back out on the road. Here's Allen. Misses the jumper from the wing. And so it's the Milwaukee Bucks. They have a nice nine-point cushion at the end of the quarter. And it's all due to their ability to own the paint. They've been dominant down low. All right, we'll get back to the action after this break. Welcome to the half, as we first take a quick glance at the injury report from around the league. Oklahoma City hasn't been at full strength. They're without a crucial member of this team, Gildress Alexander. The size and skill for his position makes him difficult to defend, and he does a great job of running the offense. 
Tough to replace someone who brings so much versatility. And let's get into this first half where there were some struggles for the Brooklyn Nets. Everyone knew coming in that they were facing knockdown shooters. Can somebody tell their defense that? I mean, my goodness, how many open threes are you going to give this team, Shaq? Uh, a lot if you're not going to guard somebody. Thanks for tuning in. Now we head back to Brian Anderson for the start of the third quarter. And we hope you've enjoyed the broadcast thus far. We're halfway through the game. It's been a clinic out there by Giannis Antetokounmpo. Yeah, they've done an amazing job of creating room to operate for him. And then, of course, executing. Well, one of the things every player is after is efficiency at the offensive end. And boy, this young guy has done just that. So on the floor for Milwaukee, Holiday and Allen in the backcourt. Giannis and Lopez together down low. And it's Middleton in at the three. And that's how you defend. He wasn't showing any mercy with that swat. You know, you can't ask for any better defense than that. He responded so fast to the shooter, and it stifled him. Brooklyn has gone 7 for 17 from three-point range so far in this matchup. Here's Thomas. Allen defending. Pass to Randall. The rebound by the Bucks. On to Kumpo has got his fifth rebound in this one. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting, so he'll take two free throws. They'll pin that one on Julius Randle. One of the only ways to slow down Antetokounmpo is to get physical with him. But you know what? That may not work. He is so good at absorbing contact in the paint. Shoot two. Drops a first. And Giannis will just about do anything the coaching staff asks. A true team player. Makes one of two, and the second one misses. And so Randall will bring it up for Brooklyn. Trailing by ten. Fires in the triple. Yeah, James Randall has a good feel on the offensive end. On time and on target with the pass. Let's check in with our reporter, Allie LaForce. When they're at full strength, the Bucks can hurt you inside and out. Drew Holiday said we have so many weapons, and that's what makes us dangerous. Anybody at any given time can knock down a big shot. We find ways to score efficiently. Brian? Yeah, and they've got that continuity factor as well. Playing is one. Thanks, Allie. Brooklyn with the ball. After the Bucks picking up a basket just moments ago. Here's Baker. Cook it. And it's Randall with the assist. Baker's got 15 points. And he's coming off a huge performance, and his confidence couldn't be any higher. And his coach knows that, too. Well, the best players, to me, deliver night after night after night. So as long as he's hot, keep riding it. Now here's Allen. Hasn't gotten one to fall yet. Shot clock at six. Lopez, the screen. And Allen is good for three. And the Bucks lead by ten. Defensively, you can't afford to get stuck on the pick. You know exactly what that takes. It takes energy, it takes activity, it takes intensity. Here's Randall. He's got 10, Baker. And he can't answer back. The three-pointer offline. Outside Holiday. A little under two and a half minutes gone by in the third quarter. And they double up on it to Kumpo. For three, Allen. Sinks it from distance. 
Allen's gotten his second bucket. Wow, what a start. Three for three, terrific play calling, everything clicking out of the gates here. Inside is Baker. Good D by Middleton. And that closeout certainly made a difference. Well, no question. He altered that shot, and most of the time, that's just as good as blocking it. They tried to stay perfect in the half, but three for four now. Pass to Thomas. Randall is screen on Allen. And again, it's the Nets missing. The Bucks have gotten three or four shots to fall so far in the third. Smith against Holiday. Middleton outside. On an Akumpo inside. Randall's there. And on an Akumpo with the basket. On the assist by Middleton. Middleton's got three assists tonight. Brooklyn calls timeout. Your next Here's a look now at who shot the ball the best during last season's campaign. Well, you look at Claxton topping the chart with his efficiency. And last year, he led the league in field goal percentage, allowing the game to come naturally and taking whatever opposing teams gave to him. A little under three and a half minutes off the clock now in the third quarter. Randall outside. Can they get it? And again, it's the Nets missing. And I'm surprised that didn't go down. I mean, I'm sure he is too. Middleton finds Ana de Kumpo. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. And I mean, how do you guard Giannis? When he's looking to score, sometimes you just have to foul him. Shooting two. Shooting two. First free throw is good. And Doris, for the first time in league history, players can now own minority shares in NBA and WNBA teams. And B.A., obviously, this is groundbreaking in terms of the context of American sports. No other league allows for this. I am really excited to see how it plays out. He does not get the second one. And that's their first miss after hitting four in a row to start the half. Smith against Holiday. Pass to Baker. Count it. That's his seventh basket of the game in 14 tries. And this is what you want from Dennis Smith Jr. He has to find the open man and deliver it on time and on target. Now here's Ana de Kumpo. He's got 19. Claxton with a rebound. Claxton's got his seventh rebound here tonight. Smith finds Randall. Unloads. Rebound by Middleton. It hasn't been all bad shots for him, but you wouldn't know that looking at his percentage from the field. Holiday passes to Ananakumpo. Holiday with the ball. Pass to Lopez. Kicks it out to Ana de Kumpo. Down to five on the shot clock. Middleton outside. Takes the three. And the foul on Brooke Lopez. That's his first foul. And so Randall will bring it up for Brooklyn. It's a 14-point game. Pass to Claxton. Here's Baker. Here's the three. Rebound, Milwaukee. Lopez has got four rebounds in the game. He 
started out strong. Three threes in the first half, but the long ball has disappeared on him since. Well, when you've been struggling as he has, you love that your teammates have really stepped up and taken the challenge. Now here's Smith. He's got five. Picked by Smith. Here's Thomas. And count the basket. He was fouled, and he's going to the line for one more. And a moment to look at the scoring approach in terms of where the points are coming from for Milwaukee. Well, the coaching staff has to love what they're seeing on offense. There's so many assists because how this team is moving the ball. Boy, the long ball has been another point of emphasis for this group tonight. Their shooters are finding open spaces and firing without hesitation. have gone four of nine in the third quarter. Smith against Holiday for three. Allen, that one falls. Nice feed that time from Holiday. Holiday's got his fourth assist with that last one. Brooklyn has gone just one of five from three-point range here in the third quarter. Baker, pass to Thomas. Randall, a screen on Allen. Here's Thomas. And a foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. They pin that one on Giannis Antetokounmpo. At the line, Captain Thomas. At the line, two times. First one at the line is good. That's also good. So he hits both free throws. Milwaukee has gone three of five from downtown here in the second half. Pass to Anadokounmpo. Allen outside. This one for three. And the Bucs hit again from deep. Lackluster defense. Showing no desire to chase shooters off that line. Smith against Holiday. Here's Randall. That one goes. Count it. Randall's got 12 points. Boy, it's passes like that one that make you want to run the offense through Smith Jr. Skill set has never been in question. Allen, and the shot is good on the assist by Holiday. Holiday's got his fifth assist in this one. You know, put a rough first half behind him. He's absolutely crushing it here in the second. Now here's Smith. He's got five. Here's Baker. Now Claxton, six to shoot. Pass to Randall from behind the arc. Rebound by Middleton. So far this quarter, he's been out of sync and might be pressing right now. The three. Randall pulls down the board. Randall's got double-digit rebounds now in the game. Here's Baker. Back to Randall. Fires the three. The rebound by the Bucks. Middleton's got his seventh rebound here tonight. Well, he had the defense's attention, dropping two threes in the first half, but he hasn't made one since. And here is Hanada Kumpo. He's got 19. Pass to Lopez. Hanada Kumpo with it. Claxton picks him up. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. <laughs> no debate there. He got Hampton. At the line from Milwaukee, Giannis Antetokounmpo, shooting two. Oh, take a break, take a break. Two shots.
and he makes a first. Some changes for Brooklyn. Finney Smith checked in for Claxton, and it's O'Neal in for Julius Randle. So he's able to get one of two. And that's out of bounds. Milwaukee will keep it. Milwaukee ball. Looking at last year, here were the players that led the way in terms of overall scoring. Fifth on the list, Giannis Antetokounmpo. This is a guy who never took a night off. You look at his numbers and you know that he put in a tremendous effort every single game. Brooklyn on D. They trail by 16. Pass to Allen. Just four to shoot. The Bucs need to get up a shot here. Lopez finds Holiday. The defensive tools are there for Dennis Smith Jr. He's got the necessary physical toughness. Here's Thomas. And out of bounds. Milwaukee will have it. And some changes here for the Bucks. Portis comes in for Lopez. And it's Crowder in for Giannis Antetokounmpo. Here's Middleton. 13 points in the game. Now a timeout called by Milwaukee. Good idea to call timeout. It looked like the guys were getting some heavy legs out there. Here they are. Team. 